Okay, now do you listen to what your child is telling you or do you simply hear the words? There is a big difference. Joining us today on the Ad Mum Pedia Pro 3 Coffee Group is Dave Atkinson and Petra Bagus from The Parenting Place to discuss how we can be better listeners. Good morning to you both. Good morning. morning. Absolute pleasure. Uh, let's start with you, Petra. Why is listening so important? Well, they've found out that being listened to is so close to being loved that most people can't tell a difference. Mm. So when you listen to your kids, they feel loved. Wow. Oh, that's impressive. Yeah. Uh, Dave, do you think we, parents get busy and distracted, which is what we do do very easily? I mean, how much time should we spend listening? Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's, this is the hard one. It's so easy in theory, listening, yeah. but in reality, life is so busy. And what's interesting is that children always put out bids for our attention. So I've got a two and a half year old. I was driving the other day in the car, you know, being very sensible. And from the back seat, I hear, Dad, Dad. Dad, Dad, the whole drive. And occasionally I'm sort of looking over, hi, hi. And all he wants me to do is look at him and just acknowledge that I see him. And interesting, uh, interestingly, um, those bids for attention aren't just with our children, they're actually with our partners as well. And they say that the quality of a marriage is often how well we are attuned to those bids from our partner. Wow. So it does mean a lot. That is fascinating. Which makes listening the key to life. <laughs> it <laughs> no, it really does. does. Uh, my, 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 one of my children, a teenager, does the same thing, but he wants me to go and watch him play basketball mm, all the time. Exactly. Yeah, and I think it's meeting them where they're at. This doesn't mean you have to listen to everything they say with all of your attention, because some things it's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But are you also <laughs> doing the other kind of good quality listening? which is essentially just hearing what they have yeah. to say and not necessarily, for me, my challenges. Oh, here's a teachable moment. or oh, I can tell you something. Mm. Mm. I can fix your problem. It's actually letting them say their piece and going, oh, yeah, well, hearing. Well, that is the thing, too. Sometimes when they're talking, we're trying to come up with an answer that's going to make us sound very worthy and no. parental, which is not the right way to yes. do it. So what is the right way to listen? Well, I can speak personally for me. The biggest challenge, and I don't mind being honest, on, uh, on national TV, <laughs> one of the biggest challenges is actually putting my phone down. Oh. I am so connected to technology during the day at work, and it's so tempting to pick up my phone mm. and just scroll my life it's away. It's so easy to it's do. It's actually scary how easy it is. Yeah. So for me, one of the biggest challenges is that I I'm present, that I'm not distracted, that my child knows that he is the most important person, not second to my phone. And I think that is profoundly challenging, but profoundly important. Yeah, and that's really difficult. It's um, easier said than done. Yep. Petra, what do you reckon? Well, I've had the same sort of issue where my children said, Mum, you're on your phone a lot, mm -hmm. and that's quite hard to take. So now, things like at night time, I actually allocate a little bit of time to go and hang with them. Mm -hmm. So I'll lie on their bed, give them a back rub, but I don't take my phone with me into the bedroom, even as an excuse to keep an eye on the time. Mm -hmm. I, just, I just let it be and for me that's often I think I find listening sitting alongside sitting beside so if your toddler's playing or if your teenager's doing something it's not as intense as yeah. this kind of like <laughs> I'm so going to tell me you something yeah. 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 exactly come to mama yeah, yeah. So, so yeah just quality even rather than quantity and then in allocating a time for me that's been really helpful so we shouldn't look to be fixing their problems should we by when we listen to them well I think that Not is the biggest temptation as a mum you're really wanting to impart all this good stuff that you've mm. learned and all the stuff they need to know but what you really want them to do if you were to be brutally honest is to solve their own problems mm. and so that idea of being a sounding board and offering advice when they need it but actually saying yep well it's understandable or naming their feelings making listening noises mm. is a great thing yeah. for toddlers oh. you go mm, mm. yeah uh, you know, just actually encouraging a bit more combo absolutely and, and in those early years particularly in the toddler years and in the baby years um, giving a child your full attention yeah. tells them in that incredibly important developmental stage that you're significant that you mm. mean something Something. And that builds the foundation uh, emotionally that they'll um, then draw, draw on for the rest mm -hmm. of their life. Yeah, of course that has a flow on effect that they become great listeners. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, which that we all want, <laughs> those noises and yeah. phones down. Hey, that's been really, really enlightening. Thank you both for joining us today. Now, Coffee Group is brought to you by Ann Mum Pedia Pro 3, the only toddler milk with no added sugars. Now, if you have any parenting worries, comment on the cafe Facebook page. One contributor will win this very cool ebook. Let me show you this uh, from Ann Mum. Now, last week's winner, it actually makes noises. Frankie the Frightened Frog. Last week's winner was Emma Dean Owls. Congratulations. Frankie the frog. Oh, see you, Frankie. Congratulations.